tomorrow I'm coming back here for something that's mine. Let's go! <laughs> it's a 20 past six. Just woke up. Mm. Alarm went off. That means it's time to start the day. Today is the day. I have to be at the uni eight o'clock. So I'm gonna get up out of bed, take a little shower, freshen up, get ready, and then hit the road. No time to waste. All right then, we're in the whip, a slang for car. It's uh, 7.30, let's drive to the uni and let's smash this up. Check it. Here it is. Officially, I have my bachelor's degree. Many of you might not have even known that I was studying in Poland, but I was. Um, I studied modern business management at the University of Economics in Krakow. And here I am, I've come to the end of this journey. And honestly, this wouldn't have been possible without you guys. Why? Because I actually wrote my bachelor thesis about building a personal brand on social media. And part of my research was actually myself. I based the research on myself. Here you are, that's me. You know, you guys know all this stuff. So honestly, I built this personal brand and a big following in Poland on social media, thanks to all of you. So I wouldn't be here without you guys. So let's celebrate this together. What's good everyone? It's been a couple days since I graduated, since I successfully defended and received my bachelor's degree. So I thought I'd sit down and talk about my experience of studying in Poland, receiving my bachelor's degree. I graduated, as you can see by the title of the video, with a score of 5.0. I graduated with a 5. Piątka. That's like my final grade for my university because I got, a f I got a five for my bachelor's thesis and my average GPA throughout my whole studies, my average grade was 4.68, which I guess they rounded up. And for my entire studies, I graduated with a five. First, let's start with this. Where did I graduate from? I graduated from the University of Economics in Krakow, okay? Now, what was my major? So the course was called Modern Business Management. That's what I studied. If you're wondering, yes, I studied in English, studied in Poland, but the entire course was in the English language, okay? Um, because of that, I had to pay. In general, if you didn't know, university is free in Poland, which is, I think, in my opinion, quite amazing. Uh, but since this was in English, I did have to pay. Now, what I paid wasn't nearly as much as I would be paying or would have paid in the UK. In the UK, uni costs, if I'm not wrong, £9,000 per semester which is like 45,000 per semester. And here I was paying 3,000 zloty per semester. So it was like 12 times less or even more. So in my opinion, very cheap. I know for many Polish people, they wouldn't even consider paying for uni, but still in my eyes, very cheap. And so it took me three years. I started in 2020 during the pandemic, actually. It's very funny because half of my studying, half of my studies was actually during the pandemic, completely online and remote studying, which is like crazy, right? Like not a lot of people in history have experienced remote, completely online university studies, which was really weird, right? And only during the second half of my studies, I went to the campus properly and I met everyone and had in-person classes and lectures, things like that. I bet now you're wondering, 
what was like the standard of the course in terms of English? Well, I'll say this. The professors, the, their English kind of ranged from terrible <laughs> to quite good or even good. But I, I wouldn't say none of them were like amazing, like breathtaking, but some were like good. Let's even say quite really good. Yeah. Um, none of their English was better than mine. That's just a fact I'm putting out there. It's not like bragging, but I bet like, you know, I think some people would assume, you know, university in English in Poland, it has to be perfect English. It's not. And honestly, from my perspective of a teacher and a native speaker, I don't think it's possible for professors who generally teach in Polish, who generally grew up in Poland, to have perfect English. It's like, it's, it's too much of an expectation. So yeah, I did have the best English for sure. And uh, not trying to brag, just stating that as a fact. Many times teachers, professors would actually ask me uh, about the correct English, which I appreciate. They were like humble enough to do that. Not all of them, but they would be like, Daniel, am I pronouncing this correctly? Or how do you pronounce this one? Or is that correct? So that was quite nice because they knew I was a native, I guess, and they heard my accent. But the English was just like, let's say, average. Their English was average because some were worse, some were better. And uh, now, I think this is an important video because... Actually, sorry, I forgot to want mention one more thing. If you were wondering what I wrote my thesis about, the title is Key Success Factors in Building a Personal Brand on Social Media, which is like... Mm, kluczowe czynniki sukcesu w, w budowanie marce osobistej na mediach społeczność, społecznościowych, basically. And it, it was great to write about that because I decided to write about myself. Um, I, I used myself as research. So this was like my first TikTok ever. And I documented the entire journey of me basically posting content and becoming a personal brand and influencer in Poland. Like, so actually without you guys, without you watching my videos, this bachelor's thesis, me graduating wouldn't have been possible. And I'm so happy that I got to write about something like that. Because I know many people write bachelor's thesis about some shitty topic they don't care about. It's just dead. Dead means like shit in slang. But this was actually interesting and something I was passionate about. So I'm so happy I got to link it to that. And realistically, without, technically without these studies, I wouldn't be in Poland right now. Because in 2020, the whole kind of intention of me coming to Poland was to study and get my higher education. I had studied for one year in university in England. And after that one year, I decided it wasn't for me. I was studying music business and I dropped out. Then I go, went to work some shitty job as a waiter and I had nothing really going for me. And my parents in 2020, during the pandemic, decided to move to Poland. And I decided to come with them, live with them, under the condition that I went to university. So I did that. And honestly, it's never ever been a dream of mine to go to university, to, to finish higher education, to have a degree. And as you know, in Poland, having a, a degree, a master's degree even, is like super important and you have to have it. And your grandma and your parents and your whole family will pressure you to go. And that's kind of what happened in my case. I never wanted to go to uni. And if I'm being honest, when I was 12 years old, when I was 13 years old, I knew I wanted to do this. I didn't know I'd be teaching English, but I knew I would be a creative person and honestly making videos. I was already making videos when I was 11 years old, but try to tell your parents, your Polish parents who grew up 
in socialism that you want to be an online influencer. It's not gonna happen. They're gonna be like, what are you talking about, son? Get, obviously that's a joke, but get back to the books and go study that success. And I genuinely, I think I actually knew since I was a kid that I wanted to always do this, what I'm doing now. I just never had the courage as a kid to really voice that and say, you know what, this is what I want to do. So I kind of always went with the flow and I ended up doing this. I, I, let's say I did this for my family to make them happy, to get them off my back. But I'm glad I did it. It's cool. At least I finally got it now. But let's, like I said, I always had a vision for my life and it was never this. But I know in Polish people are obsessed with this, at least the ones of the older generation. So yeah, that's the story. That's why I started studying in Poland. Uh, and I'm finally done. And of course, I think I'm gonna put this at the beginning because I forgot to mention this. And I'm very proud of that. I'm sure all my uh, family is proud of that. And I can actually say I'm a good student for once. Because in high school and all that, I wasn't ever the best student. You know, I was one of those guys who had a lot of potential but was lazy and didn't study and was misbehaving in class. That's because I was, I was full of energy, you know, and I am what I am. And it calls. Once again? It calls like ADHD. ADHD. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Um, and I always had, like, I always knew what I'd be doing and I'm happy I'm doing it now, but I'm glad I can, like, put this to bed now. And I'm considering doing a master's degree, but we'll see what happens i'd like to get your point on your opinion on studying on higher education is it necessary part of success is it needed is it still important as important as it was like 10 20 years ago would you recommend it uh, to your child what do you think about getting a master's degree should i do it let's have this discussion about higher education and even maybe poland and england in the comments below but I graduated uni in Poland, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching as always. If you got some value from this, if you get any value from my channel, I highly encourage you to drop a like, to comment, to especially subscribe because I really wanna invest in this YouTube channel and provide more exciting, interesting insights and content for all of you. Thank you for watching.